Hi, so I'm Gosha. Um, go ahead. Oh, I'm Brittany. I'm Amanda. I'm Caitlin. And this is our public service announcement about the Latino population. Did you know that it is thought that Latinos cause an increase in crime and violence in the United States when the truth is that Latino incarceration is not that much higher than white American incarceration? It is no shock that they account for some arrests being that they make up a lot of the population, especially when mixed in with factors of disproportionate high arrests due to bias towards them and lack of resources causing them to resort to gangs in order to provide for family. Most crimes committed by them are also not even that violent. Did you also know that most people think that Latinos are thought to be bad people that take jobs from white Americans? When the truth is that Latinos are not bad people whatsoever, but rather good people who have no choice but to come to America in order to provide for themselves and their families. They are unable to find jobs back at home due to offshoring done by Americans. On top of that, most jobs that Latinos acquire in the U.S. are the ones not wanted by white Americans. Those that account for a quarter of invent those that do find jobs that Americans do want account for a quarter of inventors and entrepreneurs that stimulate economic growth in the U.S. Such as Alberto, who invented Zumba, Jorge, who owns a condo empire, and Carlos, who has his own supermarkets. Okay. Did you know that Latinos, uh, some of their negative stereotypes are considered, they're considered to be less educated and, um, are, and are welfare recipients. Um, this is not true because you have so many people in the Latin community who are fully competent slash capable of achieving a higher level education. Plus, not only uh, does that Latin community receive benefits, all people do, depending on the circumstances, to just point them out is it, to just point them out only that is a false statement to only single them out when all people actually do indeed uh, receive benefits. Um, next. Another negative stereotype is that Latinos slash Latinas are known to be manual laborers such as maids, gardeners, carpenters, and more. Um, they work hard to provide for the family to be great and to prove others wrong. Of course, you have some people that are manual laborers, but over a quarter in the U.S. account for entrepreneurs, business owners, CEOs, etc. Next. Um, another negative stereotype is that everyone that is part of the Latino community came from Mexico and that all La Latinos in America are immigrants. This is not true because people in the Latino community come from all over, not just from one country. Also, a lot of Latinos are actually U.S. born citizens and not immigrants. Next. Oh. Um, a bias towards Latinos are that the Latino com communities have more police officers patrolling the areas because they think that there will be more crime in those neighborhoods. Uh, this is true because police with racially, racially and ethnically profile people that are part of the Latino community because they think that all Latinos are in gangs or that they are criminals. Okay, so another negative stereotype is in the media, Latino women are often hypersexualized. And this is like when their looks are like basically their personality and they're like that like fiery exotic like type to get by and that's like how they survive and then the truth is this traps their culture within like their body and it doesn't consider like their personality and like just the traditions and ethics and like values that really contribute to their culture and community and like their looks like should not matter and it should just not be like the thing that defines them and then I have a picture of uh, Sofia Vergara from Modern Family because that's like pretty much like the stereotype of her like she's like young with like this old white dude and like she's like the like fiery exotic like personality and like attractive and then an implicit bias are people often view any like latina as an immigrant who does not like fully belong to the american uh american society and then this truth is like just based off like Prejudice, prejudices and are often 
cause people to treat the Latino community differently because of it. And like when in reality, reality, they do not know what is even true. And they're just as much as Americans and citizens than anyone else. And like, they shouldn't judge. So for reflection and growth on this assignment, um, this assignment allowed me to grow in both knowledge and personal aspects. I was able to grow my knowledge about the Latin community. To be more specific, I was able to learn the truth about the population rather than their portrayal through socialization. On a personal level, I was able to go through awareness. This assignment has allowed me to be more aware about the Latin population and who they truly are. It is something I will carry with me not only towards the Latin population, but all populations. A sense of love and mindfulness through awareness. Okay. All right, uh, this assignment taught me how quickly people judge a book by its cover. On this assignment, I can honestly admit that I was not educated enough. I was able to gain knowledge and a better understanding about the Latinx community. An area of growth is this assignment allowed me to be more aware of the hardship that they go through and to be more aware that other people go through too. This assignment taught me a lot of the things that I previously was not aware of. In previous classes, I've never learned or looked at the Latino community. Uh, being able to do this made me more aware of the hardships that Latino, Latinos go through on a daily basis. An area of growth that came from this was the growth of my knowledge. And now that I know more about it, I can educate others on the topic. Um, I learned a lot from this assignment, um, from really never learning about the Latino community. It was interesting to see how they face challenges also like every day and just like, what the challenges are. And then after doing research on stereotypes, it was easy to think of like examples on how it really is more common than I thought and just like everyday examples in the world. And then I was able to learn that this is not how they're defined and often misunderstood because of how the media portrays, portrays them. And then my culture confidence of this culture has definitely grown from this assignment and I believe I can educate others and continue to learn more. Um, the organizations we have are, one is the Immigration Project and the Immigration Project, it's a nonprofit and it's all also um, located in like central and southern Illinois, so like right by um, ISU and then it's staffed by immigration attorneys and like other professionals that can just help and then they offer many resources including like oh my god um <laughs> they offer many other resources with uh naturalization for legal permanent residents green card renewal family-based immigration petitions offers support with any trauma or PTSD. And then they can al also offer removal defense for anyone at risk of being deported. And yes. um, other organizations that help this community is the Association of Latino Professionals for America. Their mission is to empower and develop Latino men and women as leaders of character for the nation in every sector of the global economy. The Committee for Hispanic Families and Children aims to improve the quality of life for Hispanic children and families. It does so by providing services in critical areas such as youth development, childcare, immigration, and more. Council for Latino Workplace Equity aims to foster workplace equity for Latino talent and seek inclusion opportunity for Latino, leader, Latino leaders to claim their place at the table. There are a lot more organizations on both a national and local level that help the Latino community. And these are just reference.